Welcome to this Excite Pro tutorial on using the designer. This is where we add the actual meat of your pages, the text and graphic information that make up your site's offerings. You know, the reason people will actually go there. In this session, you'll learn how to best get your text and graphic content into the designer and how to format it. For this, we'll take a look at the designer toolbars and also learn how to add elements to a page through the right-click contextual menu. In addition, I'll give you the lowdown on how to split a longer page into more palatable chunks. And finally, for you coder types, we'll learn how to move back and forth between the designer and your source code. But first things first, exactly how and when do we use the designer? Well, as you probably already saw in our tutorial on the page layout view, you can access the designer to add content to the left and right panels, as well as to the two footers. However, most of the design work you'll be doing is on the actual web pages. As you can see, every web page in your site has a design tab. Just click, and now we're in design mode. It's amazingly simple to enter content. Simply click and then start typing. Formatting is a snap too. The designer's toolbar commands are reminiscent of your favorite word processor. Just select, and you can change the font, size, or alter the style entirely. And you have all the standard formatting and alignment tools at your disposal as well. Of course, if you've written your text in another application, nothing prevents you from using Excite Pro's clipboard tools to paste it in. This feature brings in all clipboard contents, including formatting and graphics. One great feature is Paste from Word, which will paste in all your content while at the same time stripping out all the extraneous code added by Microsoft Word. The Designer Toolbar sports other tools that can make your life a bit easier. You have web tools for links, as well as anchors, images, tables, and horizontal lines. Look, I'll show you how easy it is to add an image. Although you can use the Link button and the Add Image button found on the Designer Toolbar to perform these tasks, You'll probably find it quicker and easier in the long run to use the right-click functionality of the software, which we will come to in just a moment. You have color settings for text and background, the ability to create varying levels of ordered and unordered lists, as well as special tools for selecting all content and zooming in and out of your design, which is useful when working with very small text. For longer articles, Excite Pro offers more sophisticated text management tools. With Search, you can easily find a string of text inside a longer page, and even replace it with something else automatically. Like so. For those poor spellers out there, myself included, Excite Pro includes a couple of dictionaries, such as U.S. English, International English, or both, against which you can perform a spell check. Additional languages are forthcoming. Of course, adding text is easy, but if you want to add other elements to your page, help is just a right-click away. In addition to the clipboard tools, there are a great number of other elements that can be inserted. While many of these functions are available in the menus and toolbar, the contextual menu offers additional power and shouldn't be missed. For example, the design wizards let you add a number of design elements such as headlines, boxes, custom bullets, and graphics, all with a minimum of fuss. The Snippets feature lets you create and store a library of code that can be used again and again. For example, say I have a search box I want to place on several of my pages. With Excite Pro, I just select it from my library and it's automatically inserted into the page. For long article pages, there's also a page break feature so that the user doesn't have to scroll through miles of text. You can add a page break manually or simply specify the number of pages you want and let Excite Pro break it up for you. This is what it looks like on the actual page. For your convenience, Excite Pro has also assembled a series of scripts to automate certain kinds of content that used to require programming. For example, having today's date show up on your page. 
And again, here's a preview of what it would look like. And there are other elements you can add, such as a Google AdSense ad, more on this in our tutorial on affiliates, an image, along with corresponding alt text, and a link to any page on your site, or outside your site for that matter. In fact, you can add links to all the current page's subpages with a single command. You can, of course, inspect and even edit the code of your design at any point by giving a click on the Source tab. You may freely add or edit on either tab, and the changes will be automatically updated on the other as you flip back and forth. To recap, we've added lots of content into the designer as well as explored its toolbar and right-click contextual menus. We've also added page breaks and checked out the source view. In our next tutorial, we'll learn how to add product and article pages, as well as how to create subpages.